we had neglected coffee crop because we didn't have any knowledge about it. Before we used to get, to get uh, poor quality and uh, we were not even getting quantity. We never used to believe in coffee like at home. And basically, we used to do maize, beans and all that. In Uganda, coffee is among the key cash crops grown by 1.7 million farming households. But for many growers nationwide, coffee yields remain low, especially in western Uganda, where some farmers had even abandoned their coffee gardens. The reasons why farmers had abandoned growing coffee, because the coffee prices went down seriously. There was the spread of coffee wilt disease. It made all these indigenous coffee farmers to resort to food crops, forgetting about coffee. And then coffee gardens were abandoned until of recent when we came in. To address this, over a period of four years, across four districts, Hans R. Newman Stiftung implemented the Uganda Coffee Agronomy Training Program. The training curriculum covered good agricultural practices to improve farmers' yields, incomes, and livelihoods. HRNS reached over 22,000 households with hands-on knowledge on improved farm management. This motivated farmers to rehabilitate their coffee farms and apply recommended farming methods. At the beginning of the project, almost none of the households were managing pests and diseases. But after only two years of training, 21% were correctly applying integrated pest and disease management practices. By the end of the project, there was an 125% increase in the adoption of weeding, as well as a 77% increase in the adoption of shade management. Additionally, 10 times more households adopted pruning. As a result, 80% of the trained households reported an increase in their coffee yields. And despite the declining coffee prices, farmers almost doubled their income. Subsequently, coffee overtook maize and beans to become the main cash crop for 91% of the households. <laughs> Although UCAT has ended, the project's interventions are proving to be sustainable. Some of the trained farmers in Kakumiro district were employed by the local government to be community-based facilitators. These community-based facilitators, they were trained by hand, together with the, some of my staff. Some of them have turned to be serious coffee farmers, especially that red the Naume, as has over 70 acres, well looked after, well maintained and people frequent her garden to come and pick visual experience which they are using also to improve their farm. Now I'm the community-based facilitator. Basically my role is capacity building for farmer groups, enroll uh, farmers who want inputs. I send them to the suppliers, they give them the inputs. It has given me a platform to inform the youth about the importance of agriculture and encourage them to get more involved in agriculture. UCAT is accompanied by a randomized control trial that will measure the impact of agronomy training on coffee yields. The RCT evaluation is led by researchers from the International Food Policy Research Institute and Harvard University. Look out for the results from this research.